Hi everyone, my name is Anna and today I'm going to be talking to you about moving to university and giving my tips on how to have a successful moving in day. So let's get started. Obviously when it comes to moving day, it's a stressful day. I remember I was very upset on my moving day, I was <laughs> crying a lot. It obviously it is a stressful day and I feel like because it is such a stressful day and I feel like you are on an emotional roller coaster ride when you go anyway so I think the best thing to do is to have everything organised. So one thing is paperwork, like if you are, as I said, if you are moving into like student halls or like the university accommodation then you will need to have paperwork to move into your accommodation and obviously if you have that then it makes the process smoother. Usually they will either send an email or it will be on their website with all the details how you can find your accommodation. But yeah, I think the paperwork is stuff like your room number, uh, your apartment number, your block number, but they mostly just need to see your room number and whereabouts you're going. It makes it easier for the staff that are helping as well because you know where you're going, sort of, and they can guide you as well, so it's just way easier. And then obviously when you're unpacking it is best to just kind of get unpacked and get settled in. So when I moved in we, um, myself and my dad unpacked everything and then we walked around Lincoln for a little bit and we actually like went on a little route to find out where I had to be the next day because for us Freshers Week started like the day after we moved in so it was very very fast. So after you've settled in, there should be an inventory list and I don't know if it's either, sometimes it can be online, I think when we moved it was online and you just tick to say that everything is in working order but honestly like if you do have a problem with anything then they will give you the numbers every, especially courts accommodation has a folder of like all the numbers for maintenance that you can, and they come out within like like 10 20 minutes of you kind of requesting them so it's great I mean I remember there was something wrong with my toilet it was leaking like on the first day as well so it wasn't great uh, and I literally contacted them on the day the day after on Monday and they came out within like 15 minutes after and they sorted it for me so they are very very helpful and the final thing that I can really say about moving in is to kind of speak to your flatmates as much as you can. I remember when I first moved in, it was hard for me. I had spoken to the people that I was living with um, over on a Facebook chat, which was really nice because it was like I knew of the people that I was going to live with. And I just remember feeling really nervous, even though I had spoken to them on Facebook and everything, and I kind of didn't want to go out. And I remember hearing them just in the kitchen walking around, and I was like, I should go out and kind of say hello, but I didn't want to. I went out, and all I remember was there's this girl that I was kind of, that I knew who lived next door to me, and I just went round to her room, and she was with these other girls who lived above us in our um, court. And I remember they kind of did like, there was something freshers was like starting, like there was some kind of outing and some people in my flat had arranged pre-drinks. Now that is something like that I'm not that interested in really, like I am not a drinker, I don't really like going out clubbing and things like that, but I thought I will go to this because it's in my kitchen and I can just literally be with them whilst they're you know pre-drinking and then I can just leave and I was like and that is fine. Um, and I remember going in and the room was full with all these people that I didn't really know and it was really nerve-wracking for me. It wasn't great, but say, but luckily for me, I ended up meeting um, a girl there in the kitchen who was like, "Oh, well, we go to these film things all the time because we don't really like going out either." And I was like, huh. "There are like a lot of people that I've met that don't drink either, so if you're ever worried about that, then there is no need because you'll find someone." So there are my tips and experiences to help you with moving in. Um, don't forget to check the university website for more information and also you can follow them on Twitter and also you can follow them on Twitter along with University of Lincoln Student Life where you can find more useful vlogs and blogs just like this. Thanks for watching, bye!